Hello everyone, hope you're all doing very well. Today we will be going over how to set up controls with an Xbox controller. Contrary to popular belief, I don't think Xbox controller or HODAS is a disadvantage to the player. For example, this clip that I'm about to show you, I did it with a controller, not with a HODAS. I think this will help people come from games like Ace Combat or Project Wingman, as this control scheme I'm going to share is 99% common with these controls. So the first settings we will be dealing with are your flight controls. I use simplified controls, relative control, and I keep the instructor on. Now for the throttle axis, I choose the right and left trigger, and it's also relative control. These are my settings here and my multiplier. Now I hold the throttle for whip, just like Ace Combat. For the roll axis, I use the left stick and I use the horizontal axis. For the pitch axis, I also use the left stick, and I use the vertical axis, and I use it inverted with a 0 0.85 multiplier. This is important so you don't rip your wings, and we don't want that. Now for the yaw axis, for the maximum value of the yaw axis, I put the right bumper, and for the minimum value, I put the left bumper. It'll function perfectly fine like this. Force feedback on. For the flaps, I use the right button of the D-pad. For the air brake, I use the left. For the gear, I use up. And for chaff and flare, I use down. Now, for small caliber guns, large caliber guns, any guns, your primary weapons, I use the A button. For your secondary weapons, I use the B button. This includes missiles, bombs, rockets, everything. For Bombay Door, I use space. Weapon lock, I use left bumper and A, or you can just press the missile lock button. That's probably even better, honestly. Now, to switch primary, button, uh, primary weapons, I use the back button. And the same for the secondary. As I said before, countermeasures like chaff and flare, it's the down button on the D-pad. I will be going over this in a separate video, the yaw axis, and the laser detonator, and that stuff. Now, for radar mode, I use P. This is like for pulse doppler mode, P for pulse doppler. That's in a plane of pulse Doppler radar. For um, ACM mode, I click on the left uh, the left stick. Now, for changing radar search and track mode, I use the space button, and for the for the scope scale, like the distance, I use the R button. For ballistic computer, I use the B button. Now, for gunners. To aim your gunners, I use the right stick, and I use uh, the horizontal axis for horizontal aiming, and I use the vertical axis for vertical aiming, and I invert the axis. Now, for toggling view, I click on the right stick. For tracking the enemy, I use the Y button. For zoom axis in the air, I use the X button. For view in the air, I use the right stick horizontal. 
And these are my settings for the multiplier and for correction. And for view uh, in the vertical axis, it's the same uh, stick. I use the right stick for vertical. Now for miscellaneous stuff, uh, I use S for smoke, C for cockpit, and E for engine. Now, I'll go into the plane right now and show you how this works. And also something very important is to make sure that you save this binding because sometimes over random updates, this stuff will get erased by Gaijin and you need to reload it. So this is where I load it. And this is my binding for joystick. There's a video on the joystick uh, coming as well. Okay, we are now on the runway. So here, that's E for canopy as I was showing you. And I press right on the D-pad for flaps. I'm going to engage full afterburner. You can see my rotors work with the bumpers. Gain some airspeed. And pull up. Up on the D-pad for gear, right on the D-pad for the flaps. Now, to our left, you see a juicy MiG-15. I have my Sidewinder missile selected with the back button on the controller. And when I get closer to him, I'm going to use my Sidewinder. Now, you see to the right, the radar isn't the whole screen. I press the space button for the scope, and that's how you do that. Now, I'm going to go behind this MiG-15 and give him a Sidewinder. And I'm going to click left on the D-pad for air brakes. And there, we got a nice lock on them, firing with the B button. And that's a dead MiG-15. Now, press on the back button for your sparrows. And there's a juicy MiG-15 right above us. To click ACM mode, click on the left stick. Now, what you will do is, if you're within the range, which is 9 kilometers for the ACM mode, you're going to put your nose on the plane and let it lock him up. Now, if it doesn't lock him up, you'll have to turn it on and off. Anyway, now I'm, I have him locked up, I have good tone, and I'm going to fire a sparrow at him. And as you can see, it's guiding very nice. And it'll hit any second. There you go. That's a dead mid 15. Usually it'll lose lock as soon as you press on the stick again, but I guess it's a hanger bug or a test flight guard. Here, you see AC mode is, ACM mode is on, ACM mode is off. On, off, on, off. If you have anything that you would like to ask me, feel free to put it in the comments. And also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yes, I will be getting a better mic soon. Thank you for watching.